and welcome to our lesson on theoretical probabilities. So in this lesson we're going to write the probability of an event happening as a fraction. Before we begin we need to understand that the probability of an event is equal to the number of desired outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes that are possible. So the probability of A, where A is the event, well, there are one, two desired outcomes out of the 11 that are possible. So the probability of an A is two elevenths. The probability of a vowel, well, the vowels are A, E, I, O and U. So we have an A, an E, another A and an I. So we have four desired outcomes out of 11 in total. The probability of a consonant, well there are 11 outcomes out of 11 that are either vowels or consonants and if we take away the number of vowels, we must be left with the number of consonants. So 11 elevenths take away 4 elevenths will leave you with 7 elevenths. And we can check that this works. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So 7 elevenths. The probability of a T, a H or an I, well, we have one, two, three, and four. So four desired outcomes out of the 11 that are possible. The probability of a G, well, there are no Gs in the word mathematics, so zero chances out of 11. And we can simplify this fraction, and that makes zero. And for question F, an M, an A, a T, H, E, I, C, or an S, and these are all the letters that make the word mathematics. So there are 11 desired out of the 11 that are possible, and that simplifies to make 1. Okay, let's try the next question. So we're going to calculate the probability when a ball is chosen at random. Do you want to try questions A through to D? by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. So let's remind ourselves that the probability of an event is equal to the number of desired outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes possible. And for question A, the probability of a red, well you can see there are two red balls and in total there are six. So the probability of a red is two out of six. And we can simplify this question by dividing both by two. So we have one third. For question B, the probability of a blue ball. Well, there are three blue balls in total. So our desired outcomes are three out of a total number of six outcomes. And we can simplify this by dividing both by three. So we have one half. The red, we know there are two of them. And there are, there is one green. So in total, there are three, which are either red or green. And these are your desired events. Six, both in total. And again, we can simplify this by dividing both by three to make one half. And the probability of a white ball, well, there are zero white balls out of six in total, and that simplifies to make zero. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful, and take care.